Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today I'm giving you some instruction on how to take notes. Now, this is a great example of how it should look like, but many times while you're taking notes in class, it's not going to be this neat. What I recommend is that you take your notes, and then you have a separate notebook says math vocabulary where you can take your time and write it out. I highly recommend doing it in printing because it's easier to read. You don't have to figure out is that a Y or a Q or whatever when you're uh, doing handwriting. But look at this, you know, academic language. I have a nice line there. I put the grade level. I can write it out. I'm using appropriate uppercase and lowercase letters here. I have a complete sentence. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out is that it's okay if you have to write in, like here, I wrote example, because I did skip a line. So I skip a line between everything I do, and that makes it so that I can have extra room to add little special notes or something. Also, keep the margin clear so that I can add in other things like this. It's nice and neat, it's easy to read, and when the teacher says, hey, you can use your notes for a test, I can read them. This is actually from a cut about three different students. There's different things that they did in there. I didn't want to make it any for, for one specific student because they might be able to recognize it. But this is a mess. Wrote this over here. And then just instead of re going to the next page like I recommended, just drew an arrow over here. Uh, a uh, mixture of uppercase and lowercase letters, plus the lowercase letters, like this I, goes all the way up to the line where an uppercase would go. Uh, lack of spaces in between words. The G is mostly, there's a G here, there's a G here, and it starts out with a circle and just does a, like a reverse C around it. N. It's just a loop, and I'm trying to make it look like an N. There's, there's a U that I'm like, I'm not sure. B looks like a 6. Very difficult to read. Plus, these students, they, they did not complete their notes because, they, number one, they, had, they were taking too much time. They were doing other things. But also, when you're printing like this, you're not going to be able to print very quickly. It, it was very slow and deliberate. I did end up giving them a copy of these. I just ran a copy of it and made it so that they can read it. You need to be able to take your notes quickly and legibly where you can read them. If you print like this but you're able to read it that night, you can go out and, and type it into a Google slide and then print out the slides. I would allow that for you to bring in a printed out Google slide of your notes. Until next time, remember and to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math, but a person that does math well has nice looking notes.